And members of the East End community came out to the McLeanstown Ferry Dock today to witness history. Our Kimberly Mullings was there for the official opening of the McLeanstown Police Substation. Situated right on the beautiful shore near the McLeanstown Clinic, the McLeanstown Police Substation opened its doors to the public with five resident police officers. The Minister of National Security, Dr. Bernard Nottage, attended the opening ceremony today and says he's excited that the station was finally built for the community. As soon as resources and officers become more available, the intent is to outfit all communities with stations as necessary or expand the existing ones. I think that every community in our country needs policing um, in a way that is a preventative measure um, so that people can live in peace and harmony with each other to the extent that it's possible. Nottage went on to say that he finds this particular police station not only beneficial for the McLeanstown area, but also to the northern Bahamas. Because of the connection with Abaco and because of the um, criminal activity that's, that's um, connected to the waters, you know, the smuggling of drugs and guns, the smuggling of human beings, the, trans the, the trafficking in persons. You know, these, these islands in the northern part of the country um, do, do have a problem. And so we're going to, to the extent that we're able to provide, for example, a boat to do some patrols in this area, uh, we're looking at that in conjunction with the Ministry of Grand Bahama. Commissioner of Police Allison Greenslade, in agreement with the minister, added that there is a significant importance for this substation in McLeanstown, not for the sake of crime, which isn't an issue in the area, but because the settlement is developing and police presence makes all the difference. Police officers are in this community finally, for the first time in the history of our force, to work in tandem with the communities of East Grand Bahama. Uh, to launch what we refer to as our community policing initiatives. That is to be one and the same with the people, to simply to encourage the communities to join hands and hearts with law enforcement to keep their very own communities safe. And I'm very, very pleased that we've got to this very significant point today. Father Stephen this Davies blessed the building and the officers and the ribbon ground. cutting was done by the minister and a senior resident of McLean's town. Also in attendance was MP for East Grand Bahama Peter Turnquest and Senator Tanisha Tynes. Kimberly Mullings, ZNS Network News.